without further ado, the Calabasas Library is here to present Opera Cadaver. So give a warm welcome. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Everybody ready for a magic show? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I didn't hear anything. You guys ready for a magic show? Yeah. You call yourselves kids? You guys ready for a magic show? Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Patrick. Everybody say hi, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Now, who here has seen a real live magic show before? Has anyone ever seen a real live magic show? Okay. <laughs> For those of you that haven't seen a magic show, I really only have one rule. Okay, does everybody like rules? Yes. No. No. Okay, well rule number one is, rule number one is, if I'm talking, should you be really noisy or should you be really quiet? Okay, so let's practice, because practice makes perfect. We're going to practice being quiet. So this means quiet and this means peace. So when I do this, we want some peace and quiet. That's very good. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was good. Okay, so um, I will know that everybody's ready to see some more magic when everybody's sitting on their bottoms, got their legs crossed, crisscross applesauce, uh, hands in their laps. Eyes on me, yeah, just like he's doing. And then I'll know that we're ready to do some more magic. So, um, this is a magic show. This is a magic so show, so we need a magic word. Does anybody know any magic words? Abracadabra. Yes? Abracadabra. abracadabra. What's your name? Tahal. Tahal. Okay, can everybody say abracadabra? abracadabra. Very good, Tahal. Um, what's another magic word that we could use? Yeah? Okay, everybody say open sesame. open sesame. Very good. What's your name? Harry. Harry the third. Okay. Can I just call you Harry? Okay. Um, anybody else have a magic word we can use? Yeah? Very good. What's your name? Nicholas. Everybody say hocus pocus. Very good. Okay. What's another magic word we can use? <laughs> okay, who wants to raise their hand and tell me a magic word? Yes, you have one? What's your magic word? You like your dad? Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. There's, there's other magic words, though, that nobody said yet. Who knows a, a magic word? Who knows the most important magic word in the whole world? Yeah? Yes, Nicholas. Uh, no, no, it's please. Please and thank you. Everybody say please and thank you. Cross your legs, Harris. Harry, cr crisscross applesauce, Harry the third. And you're welcome. Yes, exactly. Okay, so the magic word that we're going to use today is uh, very similar to the one that Tahal said, um, except it's a little different. So listen, it goes like this. It goes opera cadabra. Can everybody say opera cadabra? Okay, so that first word is a little different, right? It's opera. So, who, hello? Why? Because you're, you're, uh, you're a half magician and half opera singer. Very good. And what's your name? Max. Max, okay. I need to get everybody's name. I have a really easy way to do this. I'm going to count to three. I know. Um, so I'm going to count to three, and when I get to three, everybody say your name really loudly one time, and then I won't have to ask again. One, two, three. Okay. So, Maximilian, can you tell me what an opera singer is? An opera singer is a singer that sings really loud, and you have to cover your ears. Really loud, and you have to cover your ears. Okay. That's good. Okay. Who can tell me something else about opera? Harry... Crisscross applesauce. Please Harry. Don't like your okay, you you gotta you gotta stay in that position, Harry. Me. Yes? I'm scared Yes. Because eating 
Okay. All right. Well, no. Okay. There could be snakes in opera, I suppose. Um, what else about opera? We have singing loud. Yeah. Like screaming. Well, yeah, that's true. It is like screaming. Um, there's more about opera, though. Come on. What, what can you tell me about opera? Yeah. There's drama. Exactly. So there's a story involved, right? Okay. Tahal, yes? Screaming. Screaming, yes. Okay. All right. I'll give you the demonstration of opera, and then you'll know uh, what opera is. Here we go. Non più andrai farfallone amoroso, notte giorno d'intorno girando, delle belle trovando e riposo, narcisetto ad un cino d'amor. Delle belle trovando e riposo, narcisetto ad un cino d'amor. Everybody speaks Italian, right? Non più avrai questi bei pennacchini. Pacino. Quel cappello leggero e galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color, non piovrai quei pennacchini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, non piovrai farfalone amoroso. Notte giorno d'intorno girando, delle belle trovando e riposo, narcisetto ad oncino d'amor. Delle belle trovando e riposo, narcisetto ad oncino d'amor. Truac berieri po farbaco, gran mustachi stretto sacco, sciopo in spalla, sciabla al fianco. Colo dritto, muso franco, e un gran casco, un gran turbante, molto onor, poco contante, poco contante, poco contante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, Con le nevi soloni al concerto di tromboni e bombarde di canone, con le impale tutti i tuoni all'orecchio fan fischiar. Non piovrai quei pennacchini, non piovrai quel cappello, non piovrai quella chioma, non piovrai quell'aria brillante, non piovrai farfallone amoroso. Notte giorno d'intorno girando, delle belle trovando e riposo, narcisetto ad oncino d'amor. Delle belle trovando e riposo, narcisetto ad oncino d'amor. Che robino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar, che robino alla vittoria. Alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar. And you all clap like that. <laughs> all right, so now everybody knows what opera is, right? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Italian screaming, there we go. Well, you are all so well behaved during that. We do get to do some of the magic. So does everybody like magic tricks? Yeah. yeah. Does everybody like card tricks? Yeah. OK, we'll do the rope trick then. Um, the first thing I need is I need somebody who's willing to examine my rope. What's your name? Jacqueline? Javelin? Javelin. OK, nice to meet you, Javelin. Um, do we all trust Javelin to examine the rope? Yes. Yes, OK. Uh, make sure there's nothing funny about the rope there, Javelin. It doesn't have any uh, snaps or magnets or anything. It doesn't come apart. Does it look okay, Javelin? Looks all right? You sure? No, it doesn't stretch or shrink? There's no mirrors, wires, sliding compartments? No false bottoms or threads or escaping gases? It looks okay? Okay, can you toss it all the way up here, Javelin? 
Let's give it a try. All right, on the count of three. That's perfect, Javelin. Thank you. Um, the other thing I need, and maybe I could borrow it. Does anybody have a ring that I could use that's 10 inches wide, solid steel, and chrome plated? I do? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I just happen to have one right here. Um, that's the little one. Uh, who can come uh, check out the ring for me and make sure it's OK? Come on over here. You're, you're on my side of the line, kiddo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Come on. What's your name? Nelly. Nelly. Let's give ne no. Lily. Lily. Let's give Lily a big round of applause for being our brave volunteer. Come on up here, Lily. Nice to meet you, Lily. How old are you? Five. You're five years old. Okay, that's weird. That's how old I was when I was Lily's age. Now, um, check out the ring, Lily. Make sure there's nothing funny about that. I want you to feel all the way around there. Make sure there's no cracks or anything. You can come over here, Lily. You can. Bang it on the table if you want. You can bang it on your head if you like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Looks OK, Lily? OK, so the trick then, Lily, is to get the ring off of the rope without untying the knot. OK? Do you like puzzles, Lily? Oh, you'll be perfect for this. Grab just the ring and then give it a pull. Then it melts right off. Give Lily a big round of applause. You got it, Lily. Are you a magician, too? No, here, come over here, Lily. I still need you to help out here. Hold on to this a second. The first rule of magic is you're never allowed to explain the secret of the magic trick. So Lily and I are going to break the rules, and we're going to show you the secret, OK? What, what I use are the magic. Magic trick? No, I have magic scissors. They look like fingers. Yeah, I had them sharpened up for a couple of months. And then before you notice that the rope's been cut, I have to put them back together. Right? Kind of missed the center here. You're right. Let me see if I can even these out a little bit. A little magic crazy glue. Magic crazy glue on the end. Gets us back to the beginning. Voila. Yeah, that's the applause cue. Thank you very much. All right, so this is one that everybody can do at home with their own rope. You take these two ends, you put them over here in the pocket like this. You get out your magic scissors. Who has magic scissors? There you go. That's how you get your two new ends, right? The other ends jump over here in the middle, and then you can do the whole thing all over again right from the applause cue. Let's give Lily a big round of applause. Take a bow, Lily. Take a bow. There you go. Good job, Lily. All right, you're excused, Lily. Are there any questions? Mm-hmm. Mm. That wasn't a question. That was a statement. Anybody have a question? <laughs> yeah? Can I be the magic trick? No. OK. Um, so uh, let's see here. Um, who would like to learn a magic trick? Would anybody like to learn a magic trick? Oh, boy. OK, let's try this the other way. Who would not like to learn a magic trick? Hmm? Uh, let's see here. No volunteers? Well, interesting. Hmm. Perfect. What's your name? Marie, let's give Marie a big round of applause for being our brave volunteer. Thanks for volunteering, Marie. Come on up here. Nice to meet you, Marie. How old are you, Marie? Seven. You're seven years old. OK. I'm seven. Are you married? No. I'm just kidding. Um, so uh, Marie, because you volunteered, for now, you don't, get to see this, you're the, you don't get to see the secret of the magic trick. OK? Is that all right with you? Yeah, OK. So the deal is I have to make with everybody else is for now, when you s hold, hold on, Max. Um, um, when you all see the secret, you have to promise not to tell Marie. And Harry, you need to sit up like everybody else. And look this way. There you go. Good job. All right. Um, so we'll start over again. Um, when you see the secret, you have to promise not to tell Marie. OK? Is that a deal? Deal? Okay, 
So, uh, Marie, and then they'll tell you afterwards. It'll be like a surprise, okay? All right, so we have two big, huge decks of cards here. What color is that one? Red. What color is that one? Black. Blue. Which one do you want first, Marie? You want the red ones or do you want the blue ones? We'll use the blue ones, okay. Um, so first thing, Maria, I want you to look at these cards and make sure that they all look different. Do they all look different? Yeah. No. no? Which ones are the same? Yeah. They all look different. Okay, let me show them over here. Do they look different? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Different? No. no. Which one's the same? The same is the one behind that. Uh, so we got two Ks, but one's black and one's red. Yeah. Right, okay. Yes, and one has an axe and one has a sword. Yeah, one is throwing like four and one has a... Wow, jeez, you're... You really... <laughs> you don't miss anything, do you? All right, um, so uh, Marie, I'm going to pull out a secret card for you. So you don't get to see this one. So cover your eyes, plug your eyes, don't look. And nobody tell Marie what the secret card is. Shh. It's a secret. Okay. All right. Everybody see it? Yes. Okay. Open up your eyes, Marie. Did you see the card? No. Okay. Hold on to that one, but don't peek at it. Now, what we're going to do is have Marie choose any one of the red cards that she likes. And hopefully, by magic, she's going to pick the exact same card out of this deck. Okay. So, Marie, what I want you to do is just sort of, uh, I'm just going to, oh, I don't have, they can see what it is. Don't tell her which one it is, okay? Um, I'm going to count through here like this, Marie, and you say stop whenever you like. That one for sure? You don't want to change your mind? You're happy with the mind you have? <laughs> that joke was just for us. All right. Um, Do you see what number she stopped at? What number was it? Was it the eight of spades? Oops. Wait a minute here. That's the. Wait a minute. That's the first time that ever happened again. Hmm. I guess we got to try some magic here. Can everybody say opera cadabra? All right, turn over the card. What do you have? It's the ten of hearts, too? Oh, my goodness. Let's give Marie a big round of applause. Take a bow, Marie. Take a bow. Very well done. All right. Good job, Marie. You're excused. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Guess what? It's time for some more opera. Yes. No, you don't get to vote. It's not a democracy, kids. All right. Um, so th um, the funniest thing in the world? Well, OK, this is a story about a man named, actually, the opera is called Don Giovanni. Don G everybody say Don Giovanni. Don Giovanni. Harry, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. OK. Don Giovanni. Does anybody know anybody named Giovanni? A hat with a cane? OK, I'll take your word for it. Um, what about, does anybody know anybody named John? Shirt yes or no? <laughs> um, so John is how you say Giovanni in English. Giovanni is Italian. John is English. Right, light bulb. Um, and uh, so let's see here. Where was I going with this? He's actually a Spanish character. So who knows how to say the name John in Spanish? Yeah? Juan. Yes, you're exactly right. So this is a story about Don Juan. Don Juan. Don Juan. And Don Juan is very, very famous. Do you know why he's famous? Because he kicked the light bulb and it broke. Nope. It's because he had lots of what? Money. Yes, he has lots of money. He does have lots of money. He's rich. Yes, lots of what? Huh? 
Oh, well, no. No, he was not a good guy. He was kind of a bad guy, actually. Um, so he had lots of what? What, yeah? He had a rich, well, yeah, he had a rich life, that's for sure. Lots of police surrounding. Okay, he, yeah? Lots of inventions. Okay, let me, I'll, I'll give you a hint. He had a lot of friends. He had a lot of friends. What kind of friends? Yeah? He had a lot of friends because he was rich, but no, 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 a certain kind of friend. Yeah? Evil friend? Evil, no, no. Yes? Yes? No, no, he wasn't a president. Okay, uh, lots of girlfriends. Yes. Um, Don Juan was famous because he had more girlfriends than anybody in the whole wide world. And, yeah, ooh. Um, so he, had so he cheated a lot of people. He did cheat a lot of people. And he had so many that he had to hire an assistant to write down the names of these girlfriends in a book. And this book so, grew so huge, it's the size of a catalog. And this is a song about the catalog. It's called the Catalog Aria. And I'll translate a little bit as we go. Madamina, il catalogo è questo, delle belle che mo il padron mio, un catalogo è che io fatio, osservate, leggete con me, osservate, leggete con me. Sit up, Harry, sit up. In Italy, 640. In Italy, there are 640. In Germany, 231. 231 in Germany. Wow. 100 in France and Turkey, 91. More in Spain, but in Spain, many Spain son ja mille tre. Mille tre, it's a big number, yeah. Mille tre, far fra queste codadine, cameriere, cittadine, van contesse, baronesse, marchesane, principesse, van doni, doni grado, doni forma, doni ta, doni forma, doni eta, doni forma, doni eta. Piccina, la piccina, la piccina, la piccina, la piccina, la piccina, la piccina, in your vezzosa, e in your vezzosa, e in your vezzosa, purché porvi la gonella, voi sapete quel che fa voi sapete quel che fa pur che porvi la gonella voi sapete quel che fa quel che fa voi sapete quel che fa. All right, cannot he yes. You are a genius. You win the prize. You're exactly right. A thousand and three. I know. Well, it was too many for him, and it ended up uh, causing his demise. Yes. Yeah, so if do, you can rest assured, Don Juan pays for his sins. He gets dragged off to a very hot place by 
a very angry demon. Okay, um, what's your name? Jaden. Okay, good. You speak Italian? Spanish, but you can tell. Okay, you're right. Um, okay, so let's see. We're going to do a rope trick. This uses a sharp pair of scissors, so I need a grown-up who I can use for uh, scissors here. Um, I don't know, Jaden. How old are you? Ten. Ten? Okay, you can give him a try. Let's give Jaden a big round of applause for being our brave volunteer. <laughs> so, never mind. Okay, um, so uh, these are sharp scissors. Jaden, come on over here. Um, now, uh, you're going to be cutting the rope, Jaden. Okay. So the rule is the white is the rope and the pink is me. Okay. Okay. Now, um, these scissors, you're probably going to take a little practice to get used to them. So, all right, you ever been a magician's assistant before? Um, no. Okay. Um, this is called a rope trick. Does anybody have any idea why this is called a rope trick? Yes. Yes, there's a rope. Not you, Max, the guy in front of Max. Huh? Because a rope, exactly. How many ends are on a piece of rope? Yes? Two. Two, one on each. You're exactly right. Yeah. Jaden, would you cut that end off, please? And hold the end with your left hand, and then cut with your right hand. Hold the end with your left hand on the other end. You're cut in between. You hold the end, and then cut there. There you go. Now we have a rope with one end. Go ahead and cut that end off. There you go. Now we have a rope with zero ends. But we still have a center. That's here in the middle. So if I bring that up and cut that, we have a rope with no middle, but we have these two new ends. Everybody following this? OK. We're going to cut that end off. We're going to cut that end off. That leaves us with a rope with no middle and no ends. Does anybody know what that is? It's just a rope. And I'm going to try to do a little magic with it. And that's the applause cue. You got it right. <laughs> wow. OK, you can do better than that. All right, Jaden, you do a little pose at the same time. You ready? One, two, three. There we are. I see that works better. OK. All right. So no, no, no. We get the scissors. So we're gonna, this time you're going to cut the rope, OK? Jaden's going to cut the rope exactly in half. We'll have two pieces that are exactly the same length. And then we'll put the two pieces back together, OK? You ready? Yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. You ready, Jaden? Yes. Yeah. You excited? More or less. More or less? Okay. Everyone's a comedian. Okay. Very important this time that the two pieces be exactly the same length. Now, what's funny is I don't recall asking Jaden to cut that end off. I'm just kidding, everybody falls apart. All right, very important that the two pieces be exactly the same length. Hmm, why don't you cut that little extra bit off there, Jaden? Go ahead and cut it this time. There you go. Very important that the two pieces be exactly. What is going on? Jaden's being a little destructive. Here, cut that little extra bit off there. All right. Very important that the two pieces be. <laughs> All right. I tell you what, let's just start over from the beginning. So you remember at the beginning, the first thing I had, I had Jaden do was cut the ends off the rope, right? Remember that? Oh, we had two ends and one end and no ends. Remember all that stuff? So these are actually fake ends. These aren't even real ends. I could take these ends off. They don't do me any good. These are the rope with no middle, no ends, no nothing. Here, cut me some real ends, please. We're going to tie those ends together, and I'm going to have Jaden cut opposite the knot. So that's going to make two new ends out of the middle. The middle will be at the ends. The ends will be at the middle. No, no, not there. Not there. No, no, no. I tell you what, I'll use my... My magic scissors, they're sharper anyway. All right, everybody do the magic wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Everybody say, opera cadabra. Ooh. See if that works for you, Jaden. In fact, pull that all the way off the end. That's for you. That's for you, a little souvenir, but keep it to yourself till the end of the show, okay? Let's give Jaden a big round of applause. 
You're excused. Go ahead. Can I keep this? You can keep that, but just keep it to yourself for now, okay? Um, all right. Let's see. Where are we at? Yes, Max. No, I'm going to do the next thing. Well, I need everybody's help for the next thing. This is your test. Is everybody ready for their test? Yes. You didn't know you were getting a test today, did you? No. It's not a reading test for the library. It's a counting test. So I need everybody to count with me at the same time in a loud voice. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Look at that. There's four on this side, one on this side, six on this side, and three on this side. Uh, okay. You guys are pretty. Okay, some of you, you got it figured out already. See, I cover it up this way. It looks like four, and then I cover it this way, it looks like six. So it's an optical illusion. It fools your eye. You cover it this way, it looks like three. You cover it this way, then it looks like one. Right? Oh, wait a minute. That is three. Hold on a second. If we have six on this side, and then we have three on this side, what's six and three? Yeah? You got it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Huh? All right, let's see here. I need to borrow something. <sighs> let's see here. How about you? What's your name? Can I borrow this lily for a second? It's stuck to your sweater. There, this thing. There you go. Mind if I borrow this for a minute, Lily? Is that okay? Yeah? They get stuck to everybody. I've asked, been asked to remove these if I see them anywhere. What you do is you blow on it like this. You blow on there. There you go. It disappears. And it jumps over here into the pocket. And nobody looks at all impressed yet, so I guess I'll keep going. You ever seen these before? Yeah, that's a clown, though. I have, too. <laughs> Shocking. Um, so um, you put it in the pocket over here, and what happens is it actually bounces over to here. See how that works? Put this one in the pocket over here. It goes up the sleeve, bounces across my rippling muscular... No, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I have to catch it before it tickles. There we go. I'll do it in slow motion for you. Let me put this one away. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? <laughs> Put that one away. Well, there's, there's, only, <laughs> there's only one way to stop this. You got to cut it in half. So if I push on it, does that look like two balls now? Yeah. There we are. Then we got two that don't bounce around so much. Hold your applause. See it no, uh, OK, fine. Thanks. It sounds cheap now. All right. So, because it's a, yeah? Maybe. Okay, so uh, I get to teach a magic trick, though, because it's Wednesday. So, if you ever find yourself at, the, yeah? No, no. Um, so, um, if you ever find yourself at the magic store, you have to buy them. They're called sponge balls, and they're, they cost about a dollar each. Sponge Bob, yeah. Um, sponge balls. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, so you get two of these little balls. You take one in this hand and one in this hand. Okay. Did everybody say that? See that? Okay. So how many here? How many here? Okay. Blow on there. All right, and blow on there, and then wiggle your thumbs like this. Would you, would you, would you, would you, would you? And you touch them together. Zzzz. You know what that does to the balls? Well, they disappear. Disappears? That's a good guess, but no, they don't disappear. They make, they multiply. multiply? Nope. They make yeah? Clothes change color? Change color? Nope. No, I think it's just like, yeah? Um, oh, one of them doesn't happen and the other one. Ooh, nope. Yeah? 
You are so close. Okay, I'll show you. They switch places. No, it's the same ball. No, it's not. That's the boy and that's the girl. Well, the, oh, wait a minute. No, that's the boy. I got this backwards. Let's try this. Lily, come here for a second. Let's give Lily a big round of applause for being our break. Oh, you don't want to? Okay, all right. Let's see here. Um, how about who, uh, let's see here. How about you, sir? What's your name? Nicholas. Come here, Nicholas. Let's give Nicholas a big round of applause for being our brave volunteer. Come on over here. Come on, come on. All right, so hold out your hand like this. I want you to hold on to that ball. I want you to close your hand, hold it tight. Actually, that's the girl. She has cooties. I want that one anyway. You hold this one, okay, Nicholas? All right, hold it up high like this, up high. You're blowing there. Your little spit helps. Thank you. That's good. You see how tiny this one gets? Ooh. Did you feel anything, Nicholas? Do you still have yours? What do you have? You got them both? That's pretty good, Nicholas. Let's give Nicholas a big round of applause. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put this one back on your sleeve, and you can keep that one, and I'll keep this one and show it around everybody else. Let's give Nicholas a big round of applause for being our brave volunteer. All right. It's the one we've all been waiting for. What? No, 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 no. Before I, get to the <laughs> Before I get to this one, I have to make sure that everybody is okay with bunny rabbits. Okay, you okay with bunny rabbits? Okay, I wanted to warn you, I wanted to warn you that I have bunny rabbits, and they're very... They're very well trained. They're very quiet. They're very magical. They're very tame. They know some magic, and they're made out of wood. This is Hocus. Everybody say hi, Hocus. And this is Pocus. Everybody say hi, Pocus. How you doing? You like the show? Yeah? Okay, good. Okay. Um, so uh, now, what color is Hocus? White. What color is Pocus? Black. Now, each Hocus and Pocus live in their own nice little greenhouse, and each house has a hat on it's the same color. So this is Hocus's house, so what color is the hat? And this is Pocus's house, so what color is the hat? Huh? Okay, so the trick that Hocus and Pocus can do is Hocus can go all the way over to Pocus's house, and Pocus can go all the way over to Hocus's house invisibly by magic. Would you like to see that? Okay. Everybody say goodbye, Hocus. Everybody say goodbye, Hocus. Everybody say goodbye, Pocus. Now, to get them to switch, all we have to do is say the magic word. No, no, hocus pocus. Everybody say hocus pocus. Very good. Now, hello hocus and hello pocus. Now, to get them to reverse, all we have to do is reverse the word. So can everybody say pocus hocus? Very good. And there's pocus. Everybody say hi, pocus. And there's Hocus. Everybody say hi, Hocus. Was that a what? Look, look, it's white and that's black. I know. So they switched, and they switched back. Sit down. Um, they switched two times. I didn't show you. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. I must have. You're distracting me, Max. All right, we'll do it again. Everybody say goodbye, Hocus. Goodbye, Hocus. Now, what color's Hocus? Black. What color's the hat? White. White. Everybody say goodbye, Pocus. Goodbye, Pocus. What color's Pocus? Black. What color's the hat? Black. Everybody say the magic word, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. And there's Hocus. Everybody say hi, Hocus. And there's Pocus. Say hi, Pocus. 
Yes, we'll do it again. Everybody say goodbye, Hocus. No, what color's Hocus? What color's the hat? Black. So he's going into Pocus' house with the black. Everybody say goodbye, Pocus. What color's Pocus? Black. What color's the hat? White. So he's going into Hocus' house this time, right? Huh? Okay, okay, hold on a second. How, wait a minute, don't we have to say Pocus Hocus? No! All right, there's Hocus. Okay, okay, one at a time. What's your name? Wesley. Wesley, explain, use your words. What were you saying? <laughs> okay, so if I turn Hocus around, he'll be black. You mean like this? No, no, no. The counterclockwise, like this? No. Oh, you mean that's the yeah, switch, like this? No. <laughs> you want me to turn around like this? No. Oh, with the bunnies, like this? Just the bunnies. You want to see the back of the bunny. Okay. So this is Hocus, my nice yellow rabbit. This is Pocus, my nice red rabbit. Let's give Hocus and Pocus a big round of applause. Everybody say goodbye, Hocus. Everybody say goodbye, Pocus. And everybody say goodbye, Patrick. That's the end of the show. Did you like the show? No. I will make myself disappear in 15 minutes. No. Okay. Bye, everybody. Have a good spring.